OBJ methods today. Uh, activity is available under yeah technical. So if this activity, what are the activity which I'm creating? It is not uh, with respect to any case. So I will be creating this under work. Okay, so create technical activity. Okay, so it is used to which one will take? Will take any? So we do so many things here. So uh, I'm writing employee data over here. Okay, so create it. So now this activity, as you know, right? So this activity is under work class. So whenever you want to use any other uh, uh, case types or another classes definitely have to go for page design classes okay definitely have to go for page design classes uh, so what what is the requirement here so my requirement is uh, here i want to retrieve uh, one uh, uh, record okay i want to retrieve one record which is there in db so what is that record let me go to employee and check what are the things are there anything is fine so i'm going for employee so my requirement is to retrieve one record so i can do this from d page also right through d page also i can retrieve one record but instead now i'm doing using what activity okay so that i want to update it uh, i will update it again i do the uh, uh, i will save back to the uh, case uh, to this one okay so right so understood it so how do how, what i am doing i want to first open it later part i want to update that okay so update with some property there uh, some item over there right so for that i'm going with one employee id so i'll go with employee ID, right yeah so this is available in this class which is in data dash uh, employee so let me take this class okay so in my uh, activity i'll go to pages and classes and add okay. so this is employee i give some employee as page name. so what i'm doing I will create one page. So, creating page is always a best practice in Pega. Okay, so I'm creating a page. What is that page? Creating EMP. Okay, so I'll see this. So you created this. Of course, you'll get the uh, warnings because you should not use activity, right? So that one and next one is you have to create a test case. So those things will be coming up okay so this and there is one another one data integrity warning is also there what is that means whenever you create a page you have to remove that page also okay so page remove we got page remove method yeah so which is used to remove the page so which page yeah right here yeah. Yeah. one info warning is there right so we cross check out save now you got only one unjustified and one. So test case, click add new, success, click on convert to test. Okay, um, add a property. I'll just add this normal one, save this. So I already told you about testing, right? So it is showing that. So that's why you got this add rule set. Oh, uh, here test user. So I created that. So if I go to my thing here, uh, to my activity, now even that error also will be going. We have only one thing which is called as activity, don't use this. So which you have to justify it. So I want this to update my DB. So I'm, using, I'm, I'm uh, justifying it okay i just fired it yes so now let's back go back to the step so these are the things which you will doing which will be we will be doing so now between page new and page remove so page remove is what it will be doing it will remove it from the clipboard or the page which you created that will be removed from clipboard and page new will be creating a new page in your clipboard so two things <clears throat> between page new and page remove i want to open one record which is there in the employee table so for that I'll use OBJ methods. So OBJ methods are used for internal database purpose. 
which through using obj methods you can delete you can uh, you can uh, update or you can save you can uh, uh, retrieve multiple instances so there are some methods which are there in obj so you can use any methods you can even filter also you can refresh and lock also so these all things are there okay you can sort you can validate so these all things are there so we'll be seeing few of them now okay so in that what i want i want to open one page so which one if i remove if i make this as empty then it will take this class obj open will take that class so i'll go for emp here you can select the class which class to be opened so you have to write the class so a m e i felt so the one the class which i want to open is this and what do you write in this i'll tell you about this what do you write on this property name and property value so you have to write the primary key okay so for example if i write here uh, you see if i don't write emp over there it is going to directly work dash cover means with respect to this class it is taking so i might do yeah. so right here hmm. i'm simply i'm taking any okay so e name some name and give who oh, it is there so i'll write row So it will throw me an error. Why? Because in OBJ open, this should be the primary key. Whatever the property name we are writing, that should be a primary key. You see, the property name should match with the EID because EID is the primary key for us. So you cannot write this. That's why what you have to write EID here. EID. What EID will write? Will write key to. So this is how you write. now what i want to tell you over here is suppose if at the same time this someone is editing your eid i mean this particular record so it will be problem for you so what you do is at the time of opening this particular uh, 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 you know a record if you acquire a lock okay if you acquire a lock so that you know what are the changes you are doing that may not affect the others so once you release it then the updations whatever you are doing updations or what uh, what uh, requirement based on your requirement so that would be affecting the others also i mean uh, after completion then only it can be shown there so if you lock it then it would be for you only for you it would be locked and you will be changed and this release on commit once you complete the changes you are making to release the lock Okay, so basically you will be using this when you use lock. If you don't use, you will not use this also. Okay, so that you will be writing over. And if you want to write some information on this lock info page, okay, so that you will be writing over there. Okay, so what are the lock information? If you want to write, you can just write over there. This is optional again. And I I told you about this property name. It's a set. Okay, now let me create this. so before doing that what i do is i'll drag i'll drag and drop this third item here okay so obj open because first obj open then no first page new then obj open then page new so if you want to see the result then we don't want to do the page new also okay so i want don't want to use this because if you remove it then you can't see it okay in the clipboard or else you can see it in the tracer uh, i'll do two things so first i'll comment this so i comment it and run this so it is success let me go to clipboard so in clipboard it creates a page called as emp can you see emp so you got all the records can you see department all the records which are of 3 to 4 all the records you got okay so this is what you do and then that is one thing or if you use this page remove 
and do the action run and I mean you run this if you go to clipboard nothing would be shown on your screen EMP will not be there see there is no EMP because you removed it and how do I see it you have to see it in the tracer so open the tracer run it uh, go to the tracer and see the things step by step see here it is OBJ open so what OBJ open done it opened the employee click on this EMP all the data will be there in there oh EMP okay this is how you open one record open one record assume that this is failed that means you have given a wrong uh, wrong uh, what do you say property value instead of 3 to 5 you give some something like this save run this run can you see it is error okay you didn't handle the error properly now. you didn't handle it so you have to handle this error so what we do on click on jump we have to enable this what we have to enable jump condition saying that if step status good if step status good continue else uh, jump to later step error okay so you can write here err uh, what do you write here show property you can write show property show html property message also you can write okay you can show that show property so i'm writing show property expand it okay cannot open cannot open the record okay so i'll just make this again so instead of continue i'll say that uh, step state is good this also i'll tell jump to latest which one it should go here it should go the result Same. okay so now let me run this run now you can see cannot open the record so in this way you can use it okay you can use it because there, there is no record so this is called as exception handling this is how you do the exception handling in your things so let us give the same proper one that is three to four if i'm not wrong yeah, or else i'll give triple five double five double five yeah save this action run success it got success message okay 